Shall we begin? My name is Roberta and I am an executive for one of the main Italian fashion houses. Which one? A major one. This is how the Made in Italy image is presented. Made in Italy has always been synonymous with luxury and quality. Our products are made by the best Italian craftsmen in order to take the beauty of Italy all over the world. The percentage of work which is done by Italian craftsmen? I think that for most companies it doesn't exceed 10%. So if mathematics is not an opinion, this means that 90% is done abroad. Now we could ask, if only 10% of the work is done in Italy, why is 100% sold as made in Italy? That's easy to explain. Italian law says that a product which is worked on in Italy can be marked made in Italy. Therefore, a small amount of work is enough, sewing on the buttons and labels, for example. So a product which is made in China magically becomes a product made in Italy. And it is all done absolutely legally. Isn't that great? You have goods manufactured in China, you brand it as Italian, and then you sell it to rich Chinese people. I'm late. I couldn't find a place to park. And you have no idea what taxis cost in Milan. Th that's why I don't have a car. I love having someone pay for a taxi for me. My name is Sofia, and I am an Italian student. I worked in the fashion world as a model, a hostess, a brand image model, a cube dancer, promoter, fashion model, runway model and also a hand model. Um, many people do not know what a hand model is. It's a model with nice hands. Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> well, I said I worked in the past dance because I gave it up. You make very, very little money. There's too much competition from Eastern Europe. But above all, you make very little and work a lot. Have you ever tried standing still for two hours? It's atrocious. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Doing something else is better. So now I use fashion only as a form of promotion. I still do fashion shows and photo shoots for some magazines. I don't do it for money. I do it because men like to have models around them. Stylists promote their clothes and I promote myself. But there's too much competition. And like they teach us in economics, which I pass with full marks, prices are decided by the law of supply and demand. By the way, tell how cultured I am to those envious classmates of mine who think that my grades are only because of my friendships with the professor. I always wanted to be a journalist. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a way not to have to look for a real job. Fashion has always interested me, so I thought that being a journalist in the fashion sector would be a great idea. I didn't have any particular utopian ideas. I didn't come from a fairy tale world. But I certainly never thought that the industry was so rotten. I started working in an editorial office for a magazine in Milan. No, I won't say the name. My father was friends with one of the editors. In Italy, it is common practice to get a job because of who you know. And I began to work. I thought I had to report what happened, explain why it happened, express an opinion, inform the readers. You know, the famous what, where, why, and the other two W's that, that I can't remember right now. But I quickly realized that what I had to do in reality, we are there to do promotions. Our job consists in promoting certain brands. Those brands, the brands that advertise in the magazine. The policy is quite simple. A certain stylist takes out 10 pages of ads and we write 10 articles. Another takes out two and we write two articles. If you don't have the money to buy advertising space, we don't talk about you. This is not being a journalist, it's whoring. My name is Margaret. I come from a small village in the south of France. I always loved Italy. I saw it as a rich country with style, culture. I always loved fashion. 
I wanted to model these beautiful Italian dresses. Then I came here and discovered that it is not as it seems. For example, it's impossible to support yourself as a model. You make very, very little money. When they pay you, when you manage to find somebody professional among the dozens of false offers. For example, the fashion agencies, many of them are swindlers. It's not just a thing, that's exactly what they are, born to swindle people. I'll tell you what happened to me. An agency offered to do my photo portfolio, a runway work course, and they promised that I would work with the best stylists. Then they asked me for 9,000 euros. 9,000 euros that I paid in advance. I feel so stupid. It was practically everything I had said to be here in Italy. They received me in this big office, in a nice building in the center of Milan. What happened is that they took the money, they took a few mediocre photographs. They should inquire. If the consumer thinks that inquiring is a waste of time, why should we bother him with information he doesn't care about? Corporations don't like to annoy their customers. The customer is always right. So if the customer thinks that a made in Italy product is made painstakingly by a skilled old Florentine craftsman in a little shop near Ponte Vecchio, perhaps in some room that Leonardo da Vinci once used to paint the Mona Lisa, who are we to dash his dreams? We are not queer people. It would be like telling a child that Santa Claus was invented by Coca-Cola. So summing up. Italian law allows a product to be marked made in Italy even if the only work actually done in Italy was suing on the made in Italy label. You pay me 10 times and I satisfy you 10 times. If you don't pay me, sorry honey, we are working here. I also enjoy it going to fashion shows. You drink champagne, you eat canopy, we looked at the clothes, but never had to judge them. You couldn't formulate an opinion. Your opinion was the one that arrived with the, with the press folder that was handed to you. If you weren't for the champagne and the canopy, many journalists would spare the effort of going to the shows and would simply copy what was written in the press folder. The funniest thing is that people bought this magazine believing they were receiving information. What information? Well, mothers aren't paid very much because most of them would do it for free anyway. They love to model in beautiful Italian clothes. <laughs> but like I said, being a model in Italy is only good for self-promotion. I'm a club image model. The more well-known the girl is, the better she's paid. Paid for providing a good image. <laughs> are you curious to know what it means to provide a good image? Well, there are a lot of parties around that important men attend, often not very young men. Some may say they're old, but no, old is such an ugly word. They are non-young. And these non-young men obviously like to have young girls around them. They're tired of their <laughs> non-young wives. So what do we do? We, we dance, laugh, say funny things, liven up the party. You have to be sociable and funny. How much are we paid? Um, depends, you can go from 500 or 1000 to 5000 euros. These agencies play that, saying that they are looking for new faces, for some important stylist. When you go see them, they don't introduce themselves as sellers. But it's like they are doing casting. They ask you questions, they ask what you know how to do, they take some test shots, and they say that they let you know if you did well. A few days later, they call you and they tell you that you've been selected. They, may, they, may, they make you think that you were selected because you were the most beautiful. But they actually select everyone who participates in their selection. Once they've selected you, they have you come in for a second meeting. And that's when they tell you that you can start to work. 
but you need some courses, you need some professional photos, you need this and that, and these are all things that they sell. The article on this year's collection can be copied from last year's, which were paraphrased from the year before that. They always say the same things. Such and such stylist reinvents the thus and so style. A majestic use of such and such color. This year women will be dressing in this fashion. And they always use ridiculous headlines like Ebony and Ivory or a Fall Winter Tours, Mrs. Crocodile, <laughs> Signs of the Times, Short is Fun. But let's go back to the 10% that is done in Italy. This is often done by Chinese with factories in Italy. Incredible, isn't it? The Chinese are really quite splendid people. Not only do they manufacture for us, but they even move to Italy to make the work easier. The Chinese have opened many factories in Italy. Their prices are much more competitive than the Italians. Many ask how this is possible. The answer is actually quite simple. In Italy a laborer is very expensive. There are a lot of labor taxes, social security contributions at the company's expense, several indemnity funds, accident insurance policies, a ton of pointless expenses. For a Chinese person, everything is easier. He takes his countrymen, has them sleep in a warehouse, has them work 12 hours a day, and pays them what he would pay them in China. He doesn't pay taxes, contributions, insurance, if an Italian tries to do that and he is discovered, he would go to prison. A Chinese person, on the other hand, simply closes and reopens somewhere else under another name. At the worst, he goes back to China and who's going to go looking for him in China. In this way, they become very competitive. Naturally, we don't know any of this officially. Yeah, 5,000 euros to laugh, dance, liven up the party, and it might sound like a lot of money. But it's a job not everybody can do. First you have to be good looking, <laughs> let's say very cute, and you have to be sociable, you have to know how to play along. You can be a person who gets shocked easily, that's very important, never get shocked. You must be a positive person, think positive, who likes negative people? I don't know how much someone my age earns. I only hang out with known young people. <laughs> but do you think that it pays too well? Well, how much do you think I could be worth? <laughs> my job is to provide happiness, to provide an image. You always feel better when you have an open relationship with people and you don't feel well when you're locked up and repressed. Many ask if they pay us to have sex. What a sanctimonious question. What does it mean to pay to have sex? You're at a party, you're having fun, and maybe something happens and it's all normal. But nobody forces you. If the person you had a good time with wants to give you a gift, that's normal too. Obviously for the photos and the courses, you can get them done by someone else. You have to do it with them. And at this point, you have to pay. Then you'll take a quick course, some mediocre photos, and maybe they send you to do some casting with another 200 girls. I've learned a lot of things from Italy, but none of it is nice. They seem like the titles of novels, but they are little 20 line articles written to fill space between one advertisement and another. Our fashion magazine never dreamed of even a single investigation into the fashion sector wondering how these clothes are manufactured, why are they branded Turkey, or why are they produced in China and branded made in Italy? No. It is something the reader has to find interesting. Nor do we know that these Chinese companies put Italian companies out of business, which have been working for our fashion houses for 50 years. But we can make ourselves responsible for them, I could say that we have to make a profit at any cost. But in reality, the expression at any cost doesn't sound very nice. It sounds mafioso. I prefer to say 
Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Shall we talk about quality? These products are made with third world labor and therefore at a very low cost. But they continue to be sold at the same prices as when they were made in Italy. This guarantees enormous profits for us. How is that possible? Because the price is not connected to the product, it's connected to the brand. That's what fashion is, image. The fact that the price of the fabric on which we apply our brand is made in Italy or in some remote region of China by children chained to a workbench makes no difference to the person buying it, so it shouldn't make a difference to the seller. How can you think that companies have a social conscience which is greater than that of the consumer? The consumer wants to buy clothes made in the third world and the company should say no bad consumer, you have to buy them stitched by the tailor around the corner from your house. After I was windowed, I tried to contact people directly for work. I answered ads on the internet. Usually I ended up in closet offices with people who said they work for great stylists, but they didn't look like. Sometimes I was even afraid that that I'd be that I'd be raped. <laughs> but no, maybe, maybe I, I'm just too emotional. If the person you had fun with prefers you over another, that's normal. Everybody likes to be with fun people. Do you know anybody who wants to spend time with people they don't like? I certainly don't. But wait, stop. No, maybe it's better if I don't talk about these things. Would I cut out whatever I don't like later? Promise? Okay, give me a minute. Does that seem realistic to you? As long as the law allows us to, it would be absurd not to do it. And even if he didn't allow it, when the president does it, that means that it is not illegal, by definition. <laughs> I'm just kidding, edit that part out, please. I'd like to talk about another issue. Fashion shows have always been associated with fashion houses. Many girls come to Italy from all over the world to work as mothers, but they end up working just a few days for very little money. The funniest thing about it is that in reality nobody is worried about it. It isn't a problem. We don't make anyone come to Italy. If a lot of girls decide to show up and crowd the agency, the supply is greater than the demand, so the prices drop. Oh, for example, the, some Italian stylists are being prosecuted for tax evasion. Do you think we can talk about it? Of course not. It's just not done. Can we talk about the poor quality of something one of our advertisers manufactures? Again, no. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Uh, let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you where the mothers go on holiday. Many go to Sardinia because it's full of parties. It's always the same, either in a villa or on a boat or in a club. There are very rich people, usually people who like to spend. You dance, you drink, you smoke. If you want, you can do coke. If you don't want, you don't. I dance, drink, I don't smoke. And every once in a while, I... <laughs> and I love clubs where there is live music. I go up to the piano player and I say, play it Sam, play it as time goes by. Anyway, some of them told me outright that between a beautiful good girl and a girl who sleeps with them, they prefer the second. They say that's the way it's done in Italy, <laughs> from the days of Sophia Loren. I don't think their intention was to pay me a compliment. But not having any more money and struggling to pay the rent, I worked as a waitress in various fashionable night spots in Milan. But I changed jobs several times. Because after a while, the owner wanted me to be nice to him or, or with his customers. The first rule of a fashion magazine is don't speak poorly of the advertisers. The second rule of a fashion magazine is never speak poorly of the advertisers. 
We're not journalists, we're promoters. We make advertising spots which masquerade as journalistic articles. This way Milan is full of beautiful hungry girls. How did Steve Jobs put it? Stay hungry, stay foolish. Italy is full of hungry and foolish girls that can do anything. And we certainly didn't stop them from doing anything. Do you know what these girls during, do during the rest of the year while they are waiting to participate in some show? During the year there are a few weeks of shows, so a couple of weeks of work. And for the rest of the time? Do you think they work as cleaning ladies? Yeah? I'm in an interview. Yeah, the party begins at 9 with the president, but I won't arrive before half past 10. No, unfortunately I'm stuck in Milan. Yeah, remember, yeah. I bring girls that are up to it. What, well, the one, no, at the last party were beautiful. Yeah, okay, see you later, ciao. Sorry, I haven't switched it off. Well, this is another thing that models do when they are working. They attend parties. <laughs> do you think that parties aren't work? They are for them. Everybody feels richer. And if you show up on a boat, you can't be a barbone. Well, you probably don't know what a barbone is. In Italian it means a homeless person, but we use it to mean a stingy person. Someone who won't pay to surround himself with nice things. So it's even easier to earn. And as a bonus, you are not in the cold and fog in Milan. I like talking to you. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Italy, nobody protects you. You always walk in black, as they say here, off the books. In other words, without a contract. That's so you don't pay taxes. Italy is much different than the image I had of it. Unfortunately, I discovered it late. A friend of mine proposed that we go to parties and have sex with rich old pigs. She said you make a lot of money and then the younger you are, the more they pay you. But I didn't come to Italy to be a whore. Sooner or later I will have to find something else to do. I will spend my life filling pages up with bullshit. This is what I thought when I began. Now I've developed a taste for it. I die filling pages with bullshit. I will sacrifice myself for the good of Italian fashion. What's the difference between this and normal prostitution? Are you kidding? Prostitutes are dirty and they walk the streets. They haggle on the price. What do they have to do with us? Prostitutes are black, dirty and on street corners. We don't prostitute ourselves. At the very most we are... kept. And it's quite different. Okay, we are done. It was fun. What are you going to do later? Because we could... Do you think that parties aren't work? They are for them. The parties are work. You meet people, you make friends. In order to stay on the scene, you have to be on the scene. Some say that at these parties the girls are paid to have sex, but that isn't exactly accurate. A lot of times they aren't even paid. They get promises. Promises as payment. It's a lot like politics. They screw you making you promises. You may think that this isn't legal, but as I said before, when a president does it, that means that it is not illegal, by definition. Now we go back to France, back home. You know what I think of Italy? Italy is shit. <laughs>